Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Over the weekend I was um, talking to a friend of mine and she said that her son is going to be starting uh, in sports this spring again and she is not really looking forward to it for the sole fact that it's cold and that she has to sit outside during the practices and the games in weather that's probably, uh, I mean, it could be 40 or 50 degrees. And she says no matter how much, how many, how bare coat is or what kind of pants she wears, she just can't stay warm. So uh, I was like, you know what? I think I can help with that. I'm going to be using this Flash Fish E200. Um, it has a, it's a 200 watt AC output, but I really don't care about that. Um, it has uh, 151 watt hours. That's what the battery capacity is. And what I did is I went out to Amazon and I bought a, uh, a single person 12 volt heated blanket. So let's go ahead and connect this up. Um, see how well it works. Try to, try to get maybe a temperature out of it um, and see how long it lasts because I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that it will last two hours. That's, that's my goal. But let's find that out right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see that I got an automotive 12 volt heated blanket uh, by Stalwart or Stalwart. Uh, I mean, I got this on Amazon, I think it was like 30 bucks. So. Um, it did get really high reviews, but with Amazon, um, I'm kind of, I kind of question that a little bit. But I do like the flannel design as well. But what I like most about it is that it's 12 volt and that it comes with a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. And that's how we're going to be plugging it in. With the flash fish, you can see that there is no cigarette adaptive port on here, but it does come with a cigarette lighter to barrel plug adapter. So we'll be able to plug this in just like that. And then hopefully, and then hopefully be able to plug in this heated blanket into this. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out. All right, on here, it does not say, um, so far, so far it doesn't say anything about how much actual energy this uh, blanket's gonna take up. All I know is that it's 12 volts. I have no idea how many amps it takes. All right, we got a little bit of poison. And then here's our 12 volt plug. Wait, maybe it says on here. All right, nowhere on this uh, caution thing does it say uh, how much power it uses. But I do believe that in a car, you cannot use more than 10 amps. Uh, so that would be 120 watts. And this is 151 watts. So I'm hoping that it will be at least an hour's worth of use on here. All right, and this blanket is actually pretty good size. Looks like it's, uh, looks like it's about four by six, something like that, four feet, four feet wide by six feet long. So it's perfect for like one person. And it looks like the, the DC cord is about six feet also. Okay, well, you know, I'm not gonna be sitting around for uh, an hour or two under this thing while it stays warm. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my test subject out. All right, here's Chuck. He is going to be my test subject to enjoy the warmth of this heated blanket. And since I'm not really that advanced when it comes to keeping the uh, temperatures and thermals of this kind of stuff, I'm going to be using a meat thermometer. So let's go ahead and just put that under the blanket and uh, we'll see if that actually registers anything at all. All right, here you go, Chuck, nice and warm. All right, let's go ahead and turn on our, our chuck thermometer. All right, and it says that the ambient temperature in here is right around 71 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. 
But we're going to go ahead and keep that and we're going to see what that stays at as we monitor the flesh fish. So let's go ahead and put this here. And we're just going to put this right on his leg. Kind of press it down there so it hopefully grabs some of the heat that, uh, that Chuck is receiving. All right, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. I went ahead and charged this up so this is fully charged. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to turn it on at 544, which is right now. All right. Power lights on. Things charged up. So this test has started. So I'm going to come back down at 644 and we'll see how this is doing. All right. Well, it the time is now 643. So it's been right at an hour since we started this test. And uh, as you can see, the battery is uh, it's it's gone down one bar, but I want to say that that one bar doesn't mean that it's that it's only gone down like 25%. Uh, I I kind of noticed after using this thing for a while that when it actually starts to deplete from looking full to going down one bar, that's almost like 50% because. It's been an hour and it's gone down one bar, but I bet in the next hour, this will be dead. But let's see how warm it is actually underneath the blanket. Uh, let's see, the thermostat on the blanket actually says 93 degrees Fahrenheit. So it, it, it is actually doing a pretty good job of, of warming up, but you gotta think that the human body is at 98 degrees. So, um, when I touch this blanket, it doesn't feel warm at all. Um, and there's no settings on this blanket at all. It just, you just plug it in and let it go. So I think I would really need to test it um, outside, you know, where it's a lot colder. And if it can keep heat, um, then it would be well worth it. But by no means is it going to warm you up. Um, and it's it's actually so thin that uh, I think I think wind would kind of blow right through it. Um, it really is for an in car kind of kind of deal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let this run for another hour, just to see how long a 12 volt uh, heated blanket will run for with this uh, flash fish unit, and so that way you can make uh, your judgment on whether it's a good idea or not. So I'll be back in an hour. Well, color me embarrassed because uh, this battery, after another hour, is still showing, is still showing four out of five bars. So that whole thing I said before about, uh, you know, it being probably being dead in the next hour, uh, well, that was totally wrong. And if we look at the thermostat, or the, the meat thermometer, I guess I should say. It is showing right at 95 degrees. So still in an emergency situation, this would be a pretty good option, uh, as long as there's no wind, I think. Um, and But I'm actually surprised that this is still being powered after two hours. And um, you know, in all honesty, I wasn't expecting it to last that long. So I'm going to let it run. I'm going to let it run for another hour. And if it's still running at that time, I'm just going to call it and say, yeah, this thing will run for three hours. And uh, I'm guessing that it'll probably still be in the mid nineties under that, under that blanket. Uh, again, if you, if you touch the blanket at all, you can barely, barely feel any heat at all. Uh, so, again, I, I just don't, I don't know. I mean, it was only thirty dollars, but I just don't know if it's worth having a twelve volt heated blanket rather than just getting a thicker uh, non-heated blanket that is 
is better insulated. But you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take this off of... Uh, I can't even remember what I called this bear. Chuck? Did I call him Chuck? I, I can't remember. But uh, I'm going to take it off of him. And I'm going to take all this upstairs. And I am going to use it. And I'm going to put it on my, uh, on my chair upstairs. And I'm going to see if it keeps me warm. So I'm going to do that. And I'll let you know how I feel about it in the next hour. All right, well, it is uh, 8.55 p.m. now, and I've been using this for three hours and 10 minutes. Here is the battery capacity right here. It's down to one bar. So I am guessing that, uh, you know, maybe three hours, three and a half hours max. So between three and three and a half hours is the runtime for this, uh, this Flashfish E200 to run a, uh, a 12 volt personal heated blanket. And you know, I have to say, I've been using this for the past hour and you do feel the heat. Uh, it's very subtle, but it's definitely there. And uh, I think that, I think it, it could do some good if you're kind of sitting outside. And it, again, I have to say, if it's not breezy, I think the wind will blow right through this. Uh, but the real thing is, is that a small uh, solar powered generator like this can power, can power a, uh, a 12 volt heated blanket for over three hours. So that's uh, something to think about when you're, I mean, if you're in the market for one of these little devices and you know exactly what you want to use it for, uh, this is definitely something to think about. So on that note, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about how I, I did this little experiment, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.